Alright. Hey, welcome to my vlog. So it's actually a vlog because it's a video. Anyway, I'm doing a video on the Innocence Project. So, I did a project on Johnny Pinchback. And he was a man that was convicted in the year Octo in the year 1984 on October 5th due to faulty eyewitness testimony. So what happened was on May 22nd, 1984, uh two girls, they were led into a vacant parking lot by a man at gunpoint and they were tied up and they were raped. So these these girls were very distraught and I mean they were scared a lot of stuff was happening. Anyway, so within a couple of weeks, they spotted a man driving a car and they thought it was their assailant. So they called the cops and they told them and they got the license plate and everything. And so the license plate belonged to this one dude who said he was loaning his car out to Johnny. So, you know, Johnny being a good man, he turned himself in. Even though, you know, he knew he was innocent. So, yeah, he he was convicted on October 5th 1984 by these two girls he was sentenced to 99 years in prison it's a lot of time for him like a lot of time um yeah the a lot of factors could have played into why these girls got the wrong guy I mean he could have just looked like the other dude um you know obviously if there's a gun pointed at you you're not really gonna be focused on the man behind it you know, they're, they're put into a new scenery, they don't know where they are, they're already stressed out about, you know, someone, like, raping them, stuff like that, so they're not gonna be focusing on the guy. So, while in prison, you know, Johnny, Johnny met this man, Charles Chapman, and, you know, Charles, he, he's been writing to the Innocence Project, and he got out by, from the Innocence Project as well, and so, while he was out, you know, he was like, hey, you know, Johnny, you should start, um, you should start sending letters to him. So Johnny did, and they didn't, like, respond at first, but Charles kept pushing for his case. You know, he, he really thought he was innocent, you know. And on, um, May 12th, 2011, Johnny was released from prison after 27 years. So that's a lot more than the 14-year average for the Innocence Project people. Um, he sued the state, I mean, anyone would have, I bet. Uh, he was given $2,133,333 in compensation for his jail time. So, uh, that's, I think, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not worth 27 years of a man's life, but, like, it's good. It's pretty good. Anyway, I mean, like, the case, I'm pretty, you know, Johnny Pinchback, after they found him, he, there was he was the only suspect so they didn't really search for anyone else so that could have been done differently you know because they they definitely went about this whole investigation wrong um yeah you know so this is this happened in texas so the the whole like system could have been different than you know here in new jersey and yet again it was a while back but anyway so he was the only suspect. They could have been looking for other people. Uh, the lineup was done a while, a long time after the crime. Um, it was like, it was like three weeks. You know, that that messed with the with the girl's memory and everything. Um, you know, I think they should have tested the DNA at the very beginning. I know they might not have like had the technology at the time, but that definitely could have like kept him out. Uh, but yeah, just better investigating by by the police and just overall paying attention more to detail. All right, I'm out vlog.